Dear colleagues, I'm Zheng Yangzhou, a PhD candidate from University of Science and Technology of China. I'm very glad here to present our recent work about spatial temporal uncertainty learning, which is at the intersection of spatial temporal data mining and uncertainty quantification. Okay, let's go. With the development of sensory technologies and IoT devices, the urban elements like traffic, clothes, human mobility, suffer great dynamics under different natural contexts and social circumstances. Thus, it is highly demanded to quantify the uncertainty for spatial temporal human mobility in urban computing tasks to further develop accurate and robust cost-sensitive web applications. This technique enables the safe decision making in commercial promotions, urban event forecasting, and planning. To have a better understanding of our work, we will first introduce some related work regarding both mobility forecasting and uncertainty quantification. Mobility forecasting consists of traffic flow prediction, taxi demand prediction with CNN or GCN based methods as well as individual mobility forecasting with statistical methods or RNN-based sequential learning. However, all these methods cannot quantify prediction uncertainty under different contexts. For uncertainty quantification, we categorize them into optimistic and analytic uncertainty. And optimistic uncertainty aims to impose a period distribution over learnable weights, which can be reduced by observing more diversified samples. Analytic uncertainty is data dependent and mostly attributed to random input loads, which cannot be reduced. Then, Bayes deep learning based ensemble based methods subsequently proposed to quantify these uncertainties by calculating the statistical elements. Even though this uncertainty learning focus on image level for image level uh, object detection uh, and the deep deep regression problem, which still cannot quantify the spatial temporal uncertainty. Okay, the nearest work to ours is uncertainty quantification for numerical weather forecasting proposed by Wang, but this work still fails to capture the evolution of uncertainty and cannot map the various context influence on, uncertain, on uncertainties. So what uncertainties do we need in spatial temporal uncertainty uh, in spatial temporal data mining? Here, we formally define our problem and given the historical collective human mobility observations at sub-region I and time interval T, we aim to forecast the latest interval mobility intensity HI T plus one hat associated with its uncertainty for interval forecasting. Here, we talk about some critical challenges on our task. First, uncertainty is too abstract to collect the indicators. Second, in figure one and B, the uncertainty fluctuates dynamically, which influenced by the multi-source factors, such as individual modes, weather conditions, and emergency events. And what's more, the mobility and uncertainty feature maps reveal different hot points in figure C and figure D. The mobility uncertainty and uncertainty will share the same feature extractor will directly lead to unsatisfactory results. Then, we show the architecture of our work, STU-ANH, to address the above challenges. We first design a double-head network to decouple the mobility uncertainty disentanglements. And this unified framework consists of three components, a spatial temporal predictor, an uncertainty quantification model, and a gated mobility uncertainty recalibration bridge. Okay, for spatial temporal mobility forecasting, we incorporate the GCN and LSTM to capture the spatial temporal dependencies. Specifically, we modify the gravity model. We modify the gravity model of cross city migration to adapt to region wide mobility transition patterns for GCN spatial aggregation. For uncertainty learning, it consists of three major components, neural data quality estimation, 
and context interaction learning, and the and the content context uncertainty aggregation. First, inspired by the property of sequential data, periodicity, and closeness, the sequence level similarity can imply the poten potential variation in historical observations. Thus, we construct the mobility observations into sequence or period level and devise the neural data quality estimation by calculating the similarity between period-wise sequence representations. Second, motivated by the spatial propagation of GCN and the capacity of learning interactions among vector-level context features of factorization machine, we introduce the external context interaction uncertainty. Here, we plug the FM into GCN to learn the feature-wise interactions and further realize the region-wise propagation with GCN. Note that the learning guidance here is, is the uncertainty qualification to derive the mapping function from the external context features to uncertainty. Third, we combine the both internal and external uncertainty with the concatenation mechanism and the LSTM aggregation. On the other hand, there is also another important challenge in our work. We need to find an effective spatial temporal uncertainty indicator to guide the learning procedure. Considering the similarity correlation in spatial temporal data, like spatial proximity, temporal periodicity, closeness, and consider the statistical disparity measurement is the variance, we propose the spatial temporal variance. The spatial, uh, the spatial temporal variance is determined by three views. The spatial view is to measure the variation among spatial neighborhoods, and the intraperiod view is to measure the temporal period, period density, and the interperiod view is to quantify the variation on temporal closeness. With this mechanism, it can provide weak supervised information to learning procedure. Also, to actively learn the uncertainty within our framework, we design a hierarchical data turbulence scheme to imitate the outro distribution samples, slightly lazy samples for actively learning optimistic and analytic uncertainty respectively. We implement it through adding the different degrees of Gaussian loyalties into existing samples so that this data quality estimation and spatial temporal uncertainty indicators will correspondingly change with the data turbulences for uncertainty quantification. Okay, the objective of our uncertainty quantification can be generalized to summarize as two aspects. To learn what the model does not know and to maximally boost the prediction performance. Hence, we further investigate how to make better use of uncertainty in optimizing predictions. To achieve this, we decompose it the uncertainty into irreducible variation like the inherent loss, inherent loss or randomness and the complementary parts to prediction results, which cannot be uh, reduced, which may be reducible and helpful to prediction task on recalibration stage. So the first one is the irreducible uncertainty and the second one is the reducible uncertainty, which can be reduced by in the recalibration stage. Okay, here we select the tangent edge as the activation function to allow both positive and negative variations to transform into predictions. Here we are going to experiments. We apply three real world mobility data sets, New York City or USA, Suzhou or China and a statewide Californian check-in data. Re regarding evaluation metrics, we apply, we apply MAPE and RMSE for regression re evaluation and PICP to verify whether the predicted intervals considering the uncertainty can accurately capture the ground truth. Okay, here we showcase the, uh, okay, here we showcase the comparisons between different spatial temporal forecast methods and our method almost consistently outperform others, especially on MAP metrics, verifying the validness of using this framework for further uncertainty learning. The uncertainty aware forecasting comparison illustrates on the bottom table.
Ain LL get much error with its unguided variance learning, and SDE is much better than other baseline for its turbulence mechanism, which can be viewed as the lowest included autoencoders for enhancing the robustness. And our our method shows better performance almost on MAPE and PICP, and it can verify the necessity or its sense of uncertainty learning, which improves the forecasting itself. We also realized the learned uncertainty for three typical regions in each data set, and the ablation studies can confirm each component is effective separately. Here are the high parameter studies for fine tuning our model from different data sets. Finally, we show a case study to illustrate different mobility uncertainty patterns regarding different urban events or can learn what lessons from them. Due to the time limitation, please refer to our paper for more details. Okay, let's conclude this paper. In this work, we attempt to simultaneously predict the collective spatial temporal human mobility and its counterpart uncertainty. To achieve this, we take advantage of the property in spatial temporal data, internal content consistency, and external context interactions to extract the uncertainty related patterns and consider both spatial and temporal uncertainty evolutions to formalize the final uncertainty. By developing uncertainty indicators from three perspectives, we indeed present a lower weak supervised learning for uncertainty quantification. About our future work, we are going to present theoretical analysis of spatial temporal period predictability and uncertainty, and further identify the deductive uncertainties to promote the spatial temporal data mining forward. Thank you very much for your attention. For more works, or more details, please check our homepage above, or you can also feel free to contact me with this email. Thank you again.